Hey, welcome back to Drowning in Yarn. I'm Caleb. So I started December of 2020, last year now, I guess, with almost zero mini skeins of yarn. And I ended it with over 30. And I had almost no idea what to do with all those mini skeins. So in order to get some ideas, I reached out to all of my followers on Instagram for some pattern ideas. And I combed through Ravelry and found some of my own. And I wanted to share some of those patterns with you. So if you have mini skeins sitting around from a yarn advent calendar, or if you even just have a lot of scraps of sock yarn from last year, then stick around and see what patterns I have for you. All right, so while you're watching this video, if you're enjoying it or you see a pattern that you really wanna knit, then make sure you hit that little like button down below. I'm gonna jump right into the patterns that I have for you. I picked these patterns from the ones submitted to me from my followers and ones I found on Ravelry because I thought they looked really nice, but I haven't knit them, so it's just a little disclaimer. But let's jump right in and start with hats. So I'm gonna kick this off with a hat that my boyfriend Brian knit. And the hat pattern is the held together hat. It is a super cute hat designed by Lindsay Fowler using a skein of fingering weight yarn held double. Now I think this would be an awesome use of a couple of mini skeins or scraps from those mini skeins from some of these other projects because it uses such a small amount of those contrast colors. I think 42 yards for contrast color one and about 15 yards of fingering weight yarn for contrast color two. Now I love how this hat turned out. It would be an amazing staple hat, like a go-to hat pattern. And so I think you should definitely check it out if you have some scraps or just little bits of fingering weight yarn left over from some other mini skein projects that you do. So the next pattern I have for you is the sprocket hat. This was suggested by one of my followers on Instagram. It is designed by Megan Nodecker of Pip and Pin. It's a super cute slip stitch color work hat. I think it'd be an awesome project to kind of coordinate either a full mini skein set or a bunch of just random mini skeins that you have if you want something kind of wild and out there. But you could also stick to some neutral colors and end up with a really cute, just basic hat that would go with anything. It leads me into the sock section because Megan Nodecker also designed sprocket socks. Again, she designed these with a slip stitch colorwork pattern using five 20 gram mini skeins, but you could mix and match as you see fit to get as creative as you want. Socks were a super common answer from all my followers and a couple people mentioned doing marled socks. And there are two patterns that I've recently seen and think are amazing. So the first of those patterns is the High Desert Socks from Lindsay Fowler again. These are super cute, kind of like boot socks, just thick socks that I think would be awesome to wear around the house, to keep your feet warm in the winter, or just wear around the house the whole year round. And because they're knit with two strands of fingering weight double, they go so quick. And the second pair of socks are the Thanksgiving Socks by Summer Lee. You'll know that I love Summer Lee. She designed this with a couple of options. There's some cabling that you could do. You could do just ribbing. You could go wild. Just hold as many different colors together throughout the project. And I think you're gonna end up with awesome looking socks. The next pattern that I have is also from Summer Lee and it's the shorty sock pattern set. This pattern has three different socks that you can knit. I recently knit the Palm Squad shorty socks. They have optional instructions for a fade, which I think is an awesome way to use up mini skeins or scraps. So I used four different colors in my fade, but you could use as many or as little as you want. And then the pattern includes instructions for scrappy socks which was something that people recommended as a great use of mini skeins. I've never knit scrappy socks, but I've seen all the scrappy socks that people knit online and I love them. My fear with scrappy socks originally was, am I ever gonna put in the work to weave in all those ends? And you don't have to worry about that. Summer Lee has instructions over on her Instagram and over on her YouTube channel for knitting in the ends as you go. So I'll leave a link to that down below. Pick up that pattern because I think you'll have a really good time knitting a million shorty socks because they go super quick, even though they're fingering weight. And I think you could use up a lot of those mini skeins with a pattern like that. So the next pattern I have for you is the Leftover City Cowl. Now this colorwork pattern is super similar to the Sprocket Socks and the Sprocket Hat, except it is a stranded colorwork pattern. I discovered this cowl actually a while back whenever I purchased a mini skein set that Taylor Earl of Fiber for the People dyed for the Leftover City Cowl specifically. And I thought it was such a cute pattern. Even if you don't have a set of five mini skeins specifically for this pattern like I do, I think it would be amazing to use up 
any five mini skeins that you have laying around or any number of mini skeins really. And also I think it'd be awesome for scraps. And the next pattern that I have that would also be really awesome with a million different colors or great with just a couple is the litmus cowl. This pattern is designed by Amy Florence Edwards Green and is a free pattern that she has for knitting a striped cowl using a main color and then five grams each of 24 different mini skeins. So you could go wild with your advent calendar skeins. You could do a few different colors and use more yardage from each of those mini skeins or just go wild with scraps. And it's a super cute cowl that would be a really easy relaxing knit. So as I was reading through answers that people sent as far as mini skein patterns that they loved, and as I was going through Ravelry, I noticed that shawls and wraps are like very popular mini skein projects which is awesome because I've recently been really into knitting shawls. One designer that came up a few times in the suggestions that I got from my Instagram followers was Amba O'Brien. So I went through her patterns and noticed that yes, she has a million mini skein friendly projects, but I picked out my favorite one of her projects and that was the Adventurous Wrap, which is a super cute name. It is a garter stitch shawl with a really interesting shaping that uses up to 80 yards each from 25 different mini skeins. Now, if you don't have 25 different mini skeins, she lists out the yardage for each of the colors that she uses. So you could definitely go through your stash and find scraps that would work. And I think that it looks amazing with a fade, but she has examples on there and there are projects on Ravelry of non-fade projects and they all look really good. So I think this would be an awesome project and really fun to plan out if you don't have an advent calendar, but if you do, it's written specifically for that. I found that there were a lot of shawls and wraps that were specifically designed for advent calendars and I have a couple more to tell you about. The next one that I found was something I just found kind of scrolling through Ravelry. It is the Mini Skeins Go Big shawl designed by Marion Volen. It uses five mini skeins that equal 100 grams and then a main color that uses 200 grams, but you can adapt it to as many mini skeins as you want if you have less yardage or more, and all you need is twice the yardage of your mini skeins in your main color. This shawl has kind of like a very basic main section that you could do in a fun color or a neutral color, and then the border is done with those mini skeins. So I think that even if you're using wild colors, you can really tone it down with a neutral as the main, and anybody could wear the shawl. And then the last one I have to tell you about is the Kushalig. Now I hope I'm saying that right. In the pattern, she tells you what the word means, but it's designed by Kristen Kimsey. It is a super cute kind of modular shawl that also was designed specifically for mini skeins in mind. Now it's gonna be perfect for those advent calendars because she uses 25, 20 gram mini skeins. And I think that with this shawl, you would end up using more of each mini skein than some of the previous projects did. So if you really wanna just use them all up, this is gonna be the project for that. If you have an advent calendar or 25 mini skeins and coordinating colors, it would look awesome with this, but people have just used as many different colors as they want in their projects on Ravelry and they all look really interesting and kind of cool. So it's a perfect project to play around with and use up as much mini skein yardage as you can. This one is more of a wrap and it's in garter stitch. So I think that this pattern while having a really interesting kind of outcome would be super relaxing to knit. So you definitely want to check this one out. And the last pattern I have is the Fade Into You Shawl by Matt Akers, which I've told you about before, but I'm currently knitting it. I started knitting it as my Christmas cast on, and I used as my main color Good Wool from Pearl Soho. That wool is $13 for 383 yards. It's a more of a sport weight or a light DK. The pattern does call for DK weight. So I'm hoping it blocks out to the proper size, but I'm just shy of the total yardage I need to finish. So I'm waiting on a second skein to come. So I'm gonna end up spending about $26 on the main color, and then I'm using six different mini skeins. Now you cast on at the largest point with an I-cord cast on. It is garter stitch and brioche, and then you just knit, decreasing the whole way until you're done, which makes it the perfect project to use up that like excess of excitement that you have when you cast something on. And as the project goes on and on, when you're kind of tiring of it sometimes, it gets quicker and easier. So I just haven't been able to put it down and I'm super bummed that I have to right now to wait on that other skein that I need to finish. I'm really excited to get that and finish it and tell you all about this project. So that's really all I have. 
I've gone ahead and put all these things in the description below. And I also put all these patterns plus some more that people told me about in a bundle on Ravelry. So head to my Ravelry page, click into my favorites and go to the mini skeins project bundle if you want to see a bunch of other projects. And hopefully you find something that you like. And remember to leave a comment down below to let us all know if you have some mini skein project or pattern that you think we should all know about. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and hit the subscribe button if you want to stick around for more content that I have coming up in the future, which I hope you do. And until next time, enjoy your knitting.